Okay, here's the Bible study for tonight. I want to drop this on you and I'm not going to be long, but I want to bless you. Give me 10 more minutes. I want to talk about New Year's resolutions. And this is our Bible study for tonight. What's better than a New Year's resolution? That's the name of this Bible study. What's better than a New Year's resolution? I'm looking at Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, the seventh verse. Again, a familiar passage. Nothing new here. It says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 and 7, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. What does that mean? Well, we become what we think about the most. We morph into what we think about the most. And it's important to monitor your thoughts. Statistics tell us that 87% of us <laughs> make New Year's resolutions every single year. That's a lot of people. 87% of us will make a New Year's resolution. Here's the other flip side of that statistic. 50% of those resolution makers will fail by the end of January. So of the 87% of the people who make a New Year's resolution, 50% of those people will absolutely fail by the end of January. Statistics say that only half of us even stick to our New Year's resolution conviction for even 30 days. Only half. Now, the question tonight is, why do so many people fail at changing their lives? Why do so many people fail at changing their lives? Why do so many people set resolutions, set goals? They mean well. Their heart is very sincere, but the end result is failure. I'll tell you why. Number one, it's because of a flawed foundation that says all you need is more effort, more willpower and more goal setting. Number two, it's because we set to do goals instead of setting to be goals. Now, I got to pause because I don't want you to miss that. We set to do goals instead of setting to be goals. And then number three, success is measured by what we accomplish instead of who we become. And those are the top three reasons why so many people experience so much failure year after year after year. Again, I ask you, why do so many people fail at changing their lives? Well, it's because most people approach change while ignoring the most important part of change. Would you like to know the most important part of change? The most important part of change is the heart. So as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's what he becomes. See, the most important part of any life change is the heart. It's actually a change of heart. See, when the heart remains the same, don't miss this, the harvest remains the same. Now, I got to pause because you got to catch that. When the heart remains the same, the harvest remains the same. In other words, when the heart remains the same, the results remain the same. Here's the good news. Change the heart and you will change the harvest. Translation, change the heart you'll change your results. See, one thing we've got to stop doing, and I hope that you will do this in 2022, you got to stop living the definition of insanity. And we've all heard it said before, doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. Well, that's the definition of insanity. And far too many people are living the definition of insanity. In 2022, I want you to experience the highest level of success you've ever experienced in your life. And I'm going to tell you this as a pastor, as a transformation coach, as a public speaker, as an author. Listen to me when I tell you this. You do not need a New Year's resolution. No, you don't. You say, well, Pastor Troy, if I don't need a New Year's resolution, what do I need? I'm so glad you asked. You do not need a New Year's resolution. You need a new you realization. Ah, I got to put that on the screen. <laughs> Say it again, Pastor Troy, you do not need a New Year's resolution. You need a new you realization. See, who do you need to become in 2022 is the real question. Who do you need to become in 2022? Why is that important? Well, in 2022, I want to tell you that you got to narrow your focus. Why? Because less is best. Say it again, Pastor Troy. In 2022, you've got to narrow your focus because less 
is best. Always has been and always will be. Here's the reason why complexity leads to procrastination. And you know this to be true. The average person at the beginning of the year, they set all of these new year resolutions. They have all of these goals, all of these things they are going to accomplish. And it becomes so complex that the complexity leads to procrastination. Can I tell you something about simplicity? Simplicity leads to consistency. Ooh, Man, that's good. Can I say that again? Simplicity leads to consistency. You've heard it said before, keep it simple. I'm going to tell you in 2022, keep it simple. Can I tell you something else about complexity? Complexity also leads to paralysis. Yeah, because it becomes so complicated, all the goals and all the things you're trying to achieve that instead of moving forward, you wind up standing still. But let me tell you what simplicity does. Simplicity leads to progress. I'm telling you, one of the greatest keys in 2022 is going to be to simplify, to understand that less is best and it will lead to greater progress. Instead of a New Year's resolution, I want to encourage you to choose one word, just one, one word to live the entire year by and to allow that one word to drive your life from January through December. One word, not a complexity of words, not an entire list of things, one accurate, simple word. For some of you, that word may simply be discipline. The 2022 will be the year of discipline for me. For others, your one word may be order. In 2022, I'm going to have more order in my life. For other people, it may be peace. For some of you, it's going to be focus. For some of you, it needs to be finish. <laughs> and for others, it may be a word as simple as steady. See, there is power in simplicity. And I'm challenging you going into 2022 to seek God here and now before the first of the year and seek God's heart, seek God's face, seek God and ask him to give you one guiding word that will drive you all the way through 2022. And it'll drive you to be the person that you need to become. Remember when I started telling you that the most important thing for us to do is to focus on who we need to become? Seek God for that one word that will empower you to set to be goals instead of setting to do goals. Ask God to give you one word that will allow you to make sure that you are able to measure success by who you become and not by what you accomplish. Something better than a New Year's resolution? Guess what it is? A new you realization. And that's all I got for tonight. I hope that this blesses you. If it does, be a digital disciple and share it with your friends and those that are connected with you via social media. And you might want to watch this over again, especially the Bible study portion, and let that thing marinate in your spirit. Let it get concretized in your consciousness and then follow the instructions that I'm teaching you. And I believe that you will have one of the best years in 2022 that you've ever had in your entire life. Keep it simple. You don't need a New Year's resolution. You need a new you realization. God bless everybody.